Hi friends, welcome back to Nurses Nook and Corner. Continuous learning boosts up our mind and helps us to practice effectively. Continue to watch till end to make it easy. If you didn't subscribe the channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the uploaded videos immediately. In this video, we are going to see about life-threatening condition, sepsis. It becomes very serious and complicated, then we call it as red flag sepsis. So, appropriate and timely action is most important. Come, let's see in detail. What is sepsis? So, sepsis is defined as a dysregulated host response to infection that is a body system response to infection which results in acute organ dysfunction throughout the body. Why we consider sepsis as serious? Because it is the number one cause for most of the death in hospital. 50% of sepsis patients have long term physical and psychological effect. 40% of them are under 5, 47 to 50 million cases per year, 11 million deaths per year and five, 1 in 5 deaths worldwide. It is also noted that 80% occur outside hospital because it is caused by infection like pneumonia or diarrhea. So it is important to know the signs of sepsis and seek medical care immediately and as a nurse you should be aware that every heart counts and it is a medical emergency. Who are at risk of sepsis? So people with chronic disease of lung, liver and heart, people with weakened immune system such as AIDS or diabetes, adults over 60, children under 1 and people with no spleen. Since all these categories have more chance of infection and weakened immune, the sepsis can occur easily. Hence, we need to watch them carefully for any signs of sepsis. How will you identify the sepsis in patient? The following are the symptoms of sepsis tachypnea and tachycardia that is rapid breathing and heart rate decreased urine output or anuria they become confused have slurred speech and sometimes disoriented weakness or muscle pain discolored skin fever or shivering so these are the symptoms of sepsis in this slide we are going to see the vital parameters in clinical setting that help us to identify the sepsis earlier so the parameters are systolic bp less than 90 or sudden drop of more than 40 from normal heart rate more than 130 per minute needs oxygen to keep uh, spo2 more than 92 percentage lactate is more than or equal to 2 millimole per liter and any reason chemotherapy has done so these are the parameters which helps us to spot sepsis earlier in sepsis, we need to follow the sepsis bundle within one hour. In order to determine the state of infection and to prevent further, we need to follow the 3 in and 3 out. Totally, sepsis 6 bundle care to be done in the patient. So, what are those? Let's see in detail. Let's see the 3 in and sepsis 6. They are first to administer an antibiotic as per the hospital policy and before administering, check the patient allergic status. The second thing is to administer oxygen and aim to keep the saturation about 94%. And the third thing is to administer fluids. Initial 500 ml bolus can be given and if needed we can rip it but ensure that you do not exit 30 ml per kg. For example, if a person is 50 kg, then you can repeat up to 1500 ml bolus at interval of 15 to 30 minutes or else you can follow as per the hospital policy. Now, let's see the three out in sepsis 6. The first one is to take the blood culture. The second is to check for serum lactate. If lactate is more than 4 millimol, then do the fluid challenge and repeat check of lactate. And the third one is to measure the urine output and do not forget to maintain the fluid balance chart. Even after the sepsis 6 protocol, still the patient is, has the following that is systolic BP less than 90 mm Hg, reduced level of consciousness despite resuscitation, respiratory rate over 25 breaths per minute and lactate not reducing, then it is an emergency to be observed in critical care. If you are alert and recognize the symptoms earlier and sepsis bundle care started within one hour, then the survival rate is more. So once you found out sepsis, then immediately follow the 3 in and 3 out. That is 6 sepsis bundle care should be started immediately. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries or suggestion, give in the comment box. If you didn't subscribe the channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Once again, thanks for watching.